Hi friends, now we are going to create a OData service that will be giving me all the PO numbers that have that is that is having a material document number associated with it. Okay, uh, that has a no give that will give a PO that will give me all the PO numbers and the PO lines that have a that are, that is an inventory item that means the material number will not be blank okay so how will i build it okay and then we are going to create it as an o data service and we are going to expose it into an excel okay uh, so you don't have to even log into sap and get it so let's do it and uh, we'll be doing it in less than 10 minutes let's try to do it fast okay so first thing is i go to new and i go to other date other thing and now here i'll just give up the name data definition here i will just put dollar tmp okay and here now i'll give z suppose i'll give a name uh, cbs o data i'll just give name and then i'll just copy this and i'll put cbs o data service for uh, material for inventory uh, uh, GS okay just for that heck and I'll click finish okay so that's it now uh, we have created this the first thing we are going to do is first we have to do we will put a dash o data publish okay that makes it it will be published as an data. so next thing is we are going to give a name to this SQL view, okay, and we'll put OBA1, suppose. <clears throat> now, we have this, and now we are going to do our code, okay. So here, first thing I'll do is I'll go to EKKO, um, uh, in, uh, and I'll just put, suppose I'll give an alias, inner join, mm, I'll put EKPO, because I need the, so what I'm going to do as, in a, oh, as a in a join ekpo i'll put as b uh, and then i'll put on okay i'll put just a sec and i'll put on uh, a of, i'll put a dot ebln equals we got ebln and then here i'll put uh, what i'll put is inner join okay inner join i'll put uh, what is the next table that i'll be taking is ekb um, and there i'll put on uh, b ebln equals c oh, I didn't put c as c and i'll put dot ebln and b uh, dot eblp equals c dot eblp and then i'll do another inner join it's a lot of inner join right i want to get some information of on the vendor name okay so inner join lfa1 um, uh, so i'll put again sorry as p e, and we'll put uh, a dot lf so a um as d and i'll put on sorry on a dot liftner equals uh, d dot liftner because it's in the first table okay so this this and then uh, on this and where i'll put later on where uh, b dot magner is not null okay now here i'll describe what i need right t a dot ebln for sure i need ebln and then 
comma key no, I put key sorry b dot eblp comma then I put key a probably I'll give a dot <coughs> listener right uh, next is I put uh, I don't need to well probably I put some key key and I'll put b dot Magner, uh, then I put key um, C dot Bellar, which is the document number, and then key C dot G char. Don't put year, that so so I'm just not putting any as or something, uh, but you can always put as. So let me make it pretty as PO now. And I'll put as PO item. Mm, I'll make it pretty as vendor uh, num as material. Uh, that's no two number as document as fiscal year and what else I want uh, I need some other oh, okay and I'll put uh, name D name one as a vendor name right vendor name everything fine let's try to activate it so this is the green thing when it gets activated uh, you can just execute okay so here you can see cds row data well, it's got ex executed now we'll just execute it and here we have all the information so we get all these things so this is very important now what we are going to do <coughs> here we are going to pass on uh, so here we have all this information now what we are going to do is we will be creating the O data service so this has been created so first thing I'll go is I'll go to SAP okay so first I'll go to a new session and here this is the transaction code that is used IWFND main service okay and here I execute first thing I have to do is I'll click on add service okay then you have to do you we'll select CST 11 star and we'll say get service here you can see I just created this one so I'll what I'll be doing is I'll be clicking on this and it's local object and it's green it's already there so I'll be just so it was created and this metadata was loaded successfully. Wonderful thing. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to search for this. Okay. ZST11. Okay. I think there was one. This is the one that is not created before it was created. And this the next one is the one that I'm caring about. This is the one. So just want to make sure this is the same. Okay. So if you notice this 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 name is the same cds oda and this is the same name cds oda okay so here you can see where is this gone cds oda okay so let me go and okay let's find it out again we'll just do a search again z s p 11 and cds so we get this one uh, and the next one is I think it was there Wait. I'll do a find Z ST11 and let's say display number of fits and here I have this for some reason that one went away so let me see did I made a mistake? Get service. 
thirties at selected service. I click on the green arrow. Does already exist on the local system, so it's there. That's fine. So I'll just copy this probably and get this down. Now what I'm going to do is I go here again. I do find on this. There it is. Here it is. Okay. So I have it now. Now what I'm going to do is I'll click on call browser. So the moment I hit call browser, what I need now is I'll just copy this. This is very important. Just copy it. And now uh, what I'm going to do is I'll close this Excel and don't save and we'll we'll select excel again okay and once the excel opens we are use, going to use our data service so, so go to blank workbook i'll go to the data tab okay and here i'll say get data from other source and we'll say o data feed that's it after that the link i copied from the web page okay here i'll paste it click OK okay and here you can see my data will be coming I click on this you see it's loading all the data is coming in an Excel so next time I'm not even going to SAP I'm getting everything in Excel okay that's the power of food data so with this tutorial we learned how to create a simple CDS views and then create it as an OData service and then call it from an Excel. So next time I will don't even log into SAP because I'm not even logged into SAP. Okay, so that's it. Stay tuned to my SAP channel and happy SAP learning. And if you like it, share and subscribe to it and have a great day.